Morning, everybody. Jay Krista, say I do forever, coming at you. It is Saturday. Well, it was Saturday morning. Now it's Saturday afternoon. Or <laughs> it's almost noon. Early Saturday afternoon, yeah. But uh, Slow and steady wins the race this morning. Yep. <laughs> Krista's all done with all her sewing, and she's going to take yes. the rest of November and December off, which is Yep. A I have a lot of things to do, but they're not sewing related. Got to catch up on taxes, uh, on yep. just some paperwork to get that filed for the next year. and We'll be good. All the fun stuff. Budgets. I'm going to do our budgets. Yay. You know what? You love it when I do a budget. No, you love it when you do a budget. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been an interesting week last week. Mm -hmm. um, I started applying at different places for for jobs and I think it's funny everybody's like oh yeah everybody's hiring oh yeah everybody's everybody's not hiring I just <laughs> talked to a manager of one of the places that I that I uh, applied at and he says he only has a part-time spot open it's like what you know, it's funny. And the other people in the, the yeah, working there are like, we are so understaffed. Yeah, the other people told me <laughs> that I talked to, uh, they said, oh, we got like three spots open in this department and all this stuff. And it's like, well, maybe you need to talk to your HR guy about that one. I almost wonder if, I mean, I ran a business for a long time. And so... I wonder if they're using this opportunity to maybe save some money um, on employees and save some taxes and save some stuff and maybe maybe work a little bit uh, leaner. Right, trim the fat. And so to speak. the reason is is because when we're in a normal year, everybody gets really mad. Customers tend to come all at once. And there's never enough staff, no matter how much you you um, hire. Right. And at right. that time, because it's like it's all or nothing. Right. Either that or everybody's standing around doing nothing, and you're paying yeah. people to do nothing. But once you hire somebody, you've got to give them those hours, and you've got to be able, right. to, even if things get slow. So as a business owner, looking at it through that way, are some of these places saying, you know what? We're making just as much money uh, doing things leaner, and everybody has to work a little harder. But do you think maybe some of the companies are saying that there's a employee shortage? Please be patient with us. But yet they're kind of enjoying the fact that they're not hiring that as much. That they're saving money. Yeah. I just wish that uh, companies wouldn't put it out there that they're so hurting for employees and no one, you know everybody is not working well you gotta hire people well and i'm thinking about like the the restaurants or the mm -hmm. uh the fast food places right some of them have shut down their uh eating area the dining rooms um and saying well we have a employee shortage and so bear with us but they can do they might be doing just as much money in the drive-thru the drive and they have to have yeah. less employees that's true i don't know this that's is true. these are just my opinions and just my thoughts that's true as a business owner i'm going to tell you the truth is covid was nice in some ways because the because it saved you money the community expected you to be open certain hours right and you had to sit there with employees whether there were any customers or not slow season or not and Although sometimes we would kind of um, have our hours change a little bit in slow season, we still were required to be open. Like if you said you're open till six or nine or whatever, right. you had to be there whether there were customers or not. Right. Whether there's a snowstorm and everybody ran home, you're still stuck there. Right. So I have to say that as a bridal shop owner, I really enjoyed the fact that we could go to appointment only and it wasn't my fault and people weren't mad at me for it right because it was nation well it was worldwide so yeah <laughs> you can't be blamed for anything like yeah, that and so I yeah i get it a lot of my I bridal shop friends said they're never going back to how it was before yeah that it's so much easier to be appointment only so running it with less staff and less overhead i think the thing that really gets me is um, that I got hit with the whole health problem thing, and then my mom's 
massive heart attack and all that stuff. I just, I wish that stuff wouldn't have happened because I still would be working where I used to work. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what, you can't, Timing, you, yeah. You can't, you can't worry about the past. All you can do is press on towards the future, and that's what mm -hmm. I plan on doing. I'm, I'm going to be putting applications in other places and and have and my ear to the ground as far as, I know, you know. mainly, like, we're not really worried about finances. We have our bills paid quite a bit. We she's not worried about it. I'm worried about it yeah. because... You'd rather be having money coming in than money going out. The best, yeah. Right, and the best part, the thing that I've realized is, um, I'm not looking forward to retirement. I don't think I'll ever retire until I can't walk anymore yeah. or breathe anymore or whatever. Um, I had a taste of what retirement would be like <laughs> That's, over I the last what it six is. months in. I got ants in the pants. I got to get back to It's not really work. the money. It's the Well, it is the money. You like to be out and about. You like to it be is, with people. You are bored to tears. But right it is now. it is the money. <laughs> I'd rather us not uh, use our savings while I'm home. I'd rather save yeah. our savings and then go work somewhere and make the money to pay our Yeah. basic nice. bills for the money even though we're okay. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like Dave Ramsey has taught, mm -hmm. you know, once you get the money and savings, you you get to a point, a tipping you, point you where don't you wanna, don't want to waste it. Yeah, and that's what You're I feel like. You like, work so hard to put it there, right? That it's hard to use. Exactly, it. exactly. So even though it's there for an emergency in some cases, or there for certain right. things, but it's still you're right. It's, yep. it's hard to use it. Yeah, and I haven't applied at Coca Cola yet. Um, I'm probably going to go on there and see what they've got because I, I'm in that niche of what I used to do is more of a specialty type job. Mm -hmm. You know, I was at Pepsi for 15 years, you know, um, and obviously I know that they don't have any openings, so it's not like I can go back there, but Coca-Cola every now and then is hiring. Mm -hmm. So whether I, you know, buy some time or whatever, um, I'm probably going to explore that and some other jobs that kind of would fit along with what my skill set is. I guess that's what it is. I guess I, I'm having a hard time finding a job that ha that deals with the skill set I had. You know, maintenance, repair, forklift, Tech. techie stuff, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. So eventually, hopefully, God willing, I'll get there. But... We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's going to come. I think you have to have patience. Yeah. I think... Uh, he always teaches me patience. Always. Jay does not have patience. Nope. He's and that's not a why patient. God always <laughs> teaches me patience. Here's the patience. You know, if you don't want to quit quit getting the lessons of patience, you have to learn patience. You know? <laughs> God's like, we're not getting out of this cycle until you learn. That's a John Madden, huh? <laughs> you want to win this game, got to get some points on the board. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, so if you want to want God to quit teaching you a lesson, right. learn the lesson. It's hard, and, and you guys know, for all of you that do have jobs, whether you enjoy them or not, it's a different story. But for all of you that still work, uh, you know, you just you just have that drive or that ambition to, to work and to do a good job for somebody and to, uh, you know, give it all you got. Mm -hmm. You know, to step up. Well, and, you're a people person too. Yeah. And um, love people. If I'm in there sewing, I can't talk to you all day long. So you start. No, to... it's actually hilarious. That's it's why like, he's talking. Okay, to well, the... I'll see ya. That's why he's talking to the squirrels lately. Absolutely, I got a lot of squirrel friends. <laughs> he's just talking to the squirrels. Yep, we got like five or six coming in the backyard now. But yeah. Gertie's the only one that will come up to me, but that's okay. Yeah. If I'm off any longer, I probably will have all of them He's going to start me. turning into yeah. one of those old men. <laughs> yep. Hey, 52, I'm there. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, it's it's okay. I, I think we'll we'll get we'll get to that point. It's just a mm -hmm. it's a patience thing for me. It's God's timing for him. You know, it's all good. So it is all good. Yeah, it is. And we got good things coming. 
I just don't want to waste our savings. <laughs> it's that funny because I've almost turned into her now as far as saving money. You know, I don't, I don't want to waste anymore. And I'm over here going, well, that's what we saved it for. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Between her shop and, you know, what she made closing and, and all that stuff. And it just, I guess what I'm saying is I shouldn't be stressing over things that I have no control over. Yeah. And I should enjoy myself while I'm here at home. Especially on a Saturday. Why yeah. are we all stressed about this? I don't know. And it's sunny and it's beautiful outside. You'd think I'd be outside. <laughs> yeah. And it's almost noon. Yeah, exactly. By the time we get this on exactly. onto the, the channel, it's going to be like... <laughs> One. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> what are you guys doing on your Saturday? Um, how's your weather? I actually um, saw that some of our East Coast friends and family um, are getting snow. <laughs> How was yeah. that? Have fun with that. <laughs> your uh, your cousin that. posted last night yep. that I in saw Indiana that, that uh, they were getting snow. Yep. Yeah. So and a yep. lot of our friends in the East Coast are getting snow. As far as I'm concerned, the snow can come into Idaho and go around Idaho, go north and south of Idaho. Yeah. I'd be perfectly happy. Yeah. I think the weather's good where our daughter is. Our daughter's in Alabama. Yep. She was actually at a football game this morning, right? Yeah. And yeah. it looked like it was really nice. Uh, I don't know who they're weather. I don't know who they're playing, but it looked like she was having fun. Yeah. Mason's parents came to visit. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's so that's good. That looked like they were having a lot of fun. I think so. I think uh, in Alabama they're probably still kind of warm. Mm -hmm. She said it started to feel like fall. Yeah. I think some of the trees are starting to change. It's warmer there than here. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I mean, we watch uh, Roots and Refuge <clears throat> on YouTube also, and Jess and Jeremiah. They got their first freeze. Yeah, they got their first freeze, and she was talking about how that she could feel the temperatures drop, and she can tell, you know, that things mm -hmm. are going to start getting colder and stuff. But they're not in Alabama anymore. They're in North Ar Europe. Uh, no, they were... They were in Arkansas, and now they moved to oh, South yeah, Carolina. Isn't it South Carolina? Yeah. I'm really bad with geography. It's okay. Of where everything is. It's okay. I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. I think it's South Carolina is where they live, yeah. or North Carolina. But anyway, so it's been fun watching them. But, um, yeah, we're just hanging out like a couple mm -hmm. old married couple people <laughs> now. Right? Uh, this week... Uh, we actually, this next Friday, we start our book series, which we're pretty excited about. Yes, we do. Um, that we're going to do a really funny book that we absolutely love. It's called, um, uh, men are like waffles, women are like spaghetti. And that one's really, really funny. Yeah, I it's, <laughs> it's a good one. I like we'll that We'll highlight book. the, the little funny jokes in there and yeah. talk about them. So that'll be good, um... Because sometimes I think people think books are a little bit boring. Um, not this one. But this one is not boring. Mm -mm. Some people love to it's gonna be good. to research books and stuff, and other people are not into the books. Um, yeah. But this okay, book is going to be good. Well, and that's why we do different topics, you know, because you have couples that are going to want to know about this, this, or this, or this, mm -hmm. and that's why we do different topics. Mm -hmm. Money. Um, communication, like the book series, and then our Saturday just hanging out, mm -hmm. and Money Mondays. Yeah, so, in our Money Monday, we are now doing yeah. um, some tips Proverbs. from Proverbs, which yeah. are some of the wisest uh, information you can get on money, so on Mondays we're doing that, and yeah. that's been really good. Um, we need to come up with some more hot topics for Wednesdays, if you guys... Uh, want us to cover something, um, let us know. And also tell us in the comments, um, you know, what what you're up to, yeah. um, what your holidays are going to look like, or whatever you want to talk to us about, or tell us, you know, like, hey, I'd like you to do a video on whatever, such and such, yeah. and um, we will definitely research it and do it for you. Um, what would make this channel more interesting for you? Um, both young, um, young couples and older couples, uh, we'd be happy to do what you think would be really, really interesting. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I just think, um, 
this channel's for you guys. It's not for us. This channel, although we enjoy doing this channel, we enjoy getting to know you guys. We enjoy um, doing stuff and hanging out together. Yeah. But we kind of want to make this channel for you guys and um, want to know what you guys want. And we need to uh, give you guys a shout out too. Um, um, we were hoping to have 40 subscribers by July of next year. We're already at 38 subscribers, so kudos to all of you guys. We really appreciate you guys. We care mm -hmm. about you guys and your marriages, and we, we're so thankful um, that you guys um, you know, hit that subscribe button and that you're following along. So mm -hmm. we appreciate you guys very much. Yeah. So you guys need to know that. And we appreciate your comments. We appreciate all of that. We also appreciate all the Saturday mornings, and last week it was Sunday, or Saturday afternoons, that you sit and hang out with us with your coffee um, yeah. and just sit and talk with us. Um, we're empty nesters, and we miss our kids, so we love having you guys join us. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and we also have a new camera that we... Um, tried out for the first time yesterday. We weren't as fond of the sound, and it's a really expensive camera with a really expensive, um, like, um, mic system. But we're not fond of that, so we're gonna be improving that. Yeah, Maybe. we're gonna we're gonna get a mic, and uh, so it has better sound, and so it doesn't sound like we're in a tin can. Yeah. Um, but the camera, we really have enjoyed this camera now. This yeah. will be the second or third video that we've done with this camera. So yeah, we're getting used to it. it like um, getting it uh, hones in on your face. So I think when we yeah. turn away, it tends to get a little bit um, maybe a little uh, unclear. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It does have more of a uh, clarity to the camera, though, as mm -hmm. opposed to when we were using cell phones. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. Cool. So anyway, well, here's, here's to a Saturday <laughs> morning. That's now afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Here's to your guys' Saturday. Yeah, here's to your Saturday. Hope you guys uh, just have a lot of good rest and enjoy your family and uh, enjoy your weekend. Yeah. So. Jay, Krista, helping you say I do forever. Until yep. next time. And we'll see you Monday, guys. We'll see you guys on Monday.